I'm here today with Derek Freeman, who's president of Freeman Consulting, and he just launched a new course called Getting Up and Running with Wowza Streaming Engine 4.8. Derek is going to tell us a little bit about the course in this interview today. Thanks for joining us, Derek. Thanks for having me, Jan. My pleasure. So give us the ele elevator pitch for the course. So this course is for newbies to Wowza Streaming Engine that need to learn how to install, configure, um, and deliver live streaming as well as video on demand streaming. And one of the benefits uh, now is we have a new course called Getting Up and Running with Wilder Streaming Engine. And the course is available for uh, $349, but right now there's a sale of $199 uh, until December 31st. So if folks are interested in you know, getting that course, they can get it now. Um, and then after, um, on January 1st, that uh, class, uh, the course will go up to uh, $349, which is still a great value. Okay, who's your target for this course? So the target is really IT professionals, network engineers, uh, software developers, QA engineers, uh, as well as media professionals, especially, um, and then web developers. And really anyone that needs to get up to speed with learning how to use Wowza Streaming Engine, uh, this course is really a great floor. Uh, one of the things, uh, one of the groups that it's really great for is um, individuals working at streaming media companies, uh, mm -hmm. providing software and tools for streaming. Okay. I mean, a lot of those people sounds like they like to learn things themselves through, you know, blogs and things like that. How, how does your course accelerate that for them? So one of the things that it does is we have uh, the class broken down in modules. So you can watch lessons on um, setting up and installing uh, Wowza on, you know, Mac, on Windows, on Amazon Web Services. And we have it in bite-sized chunks, so three to six-minute segments uh, in lesson form. And then it's hands-on so individuals can actually see what's going on and how to do it. But the nice thing about that is they can, if they have a meeting or if they have a little time in the morning or in the afternoon, they can watch a few lessons and be able to get in uh, some of the education that they need related to learning about Wowza. Okay, so they can go either soup to nuts or they can just use it piece by piece as necessary. That's correct. Okay, um, what's your experience with Wowza? So I have uh, about 12 years of experience working with Wowza uh, from a consulting standpoint and a training standpoint. And what I've done over the years is from a consulting standpoint, I've uh, configured and installed a lot of uh, uh, Wowza streaming instances uh, for uh, different clients. And then in a lot of cases, um, a lot of those clients have, have asked me back to um, reached out to me again and, and had me, you know, configure their uh, new server with the upgrades. Or if they wanted to migrate, when a lot of individuals were looking to migrate from Windows Media Streaming Services and QuickTime Streaming Server, uh, I did a lot of work for uh, migrating them to Wowza Streaming Engine. So, um, so that's kind of some of the experience from a consulting standpoint. And then from a training standpoint, I love teaching Wowza. Uh, I just, I, I've done it for years. And so um, I've provided a lot of training, uh, live training uh, and um, where it's online and then in-person training on site, uh, going to their location and getting their team up to speed with Wowza Streaming Engine. And the thing that I like and what's unique about my, my training style is I teach from a hands-on uh, perspective. So I like to get, uh, not just do lecture, but I like to show people how to do things hands on and how to walk them through things. So, so that's what I've been doing over the years. And that's kind of my experience with, uh, with Wowza. Cool. So take us through the course um, at a high level, module by module. Okay. So for, um, for the course, uh, basically we'll start with the basics of Wowza Streaming Engine, uh, providing an overview and really allowing you to go underneath the hood a little bit so you can really understand how Wowza works and how it configures in, um, uh, in the, the first section where we talk about Wowza Streaming Engine. And then we'll talk about Wowza Streaming Engine Manager, what that means and how that works, and most importantly, how that makes your life easier <laughs> uh, by using a uh, Wowza Streaming Engine Manager. And then we'll go through the different installations of Wowza on Mac, as well as Windows, uh, on Amazon Web Services. For those that are looking for a Linux um, installation of Wowza, 
they can use the Amazon Web Services uh, for that uh, or and use the cloud uh, essentially. And then we walk them through how to do the setup with um, Wowza on Amazon Web Services. For that portion of the class alone, it's worth the cost of the, the $199 or the $349 just because people save so much time by not having to learn uh, that on their own. And then some of the things that we'll do is we'll go through some security, uh, we'll go through source authentication, we'll talk about uh, cross-origin resource sharing and what that means for them and why it's important. And then we'll also talk about Wowza's uh, Streamlock feature, which is an SSL certificate for uh, secure streaming over HTTPS. So those are some of the, the, some of the different things that we'll uh, talk about. And then what we do is we work from, um, from a basic level and then we get advanced with the class. So we'll do, um, we have some modules on installing for video on demand streaming. We have modules on setup for live streaming. So we'll, you'll learn how to configure your encoder. Um, and we, we're using the Wirecast encoder uh, for, the, for, that, uh, for that portion of the class. And then we'll get a little bit more advanced and build up to doing adaptive streaming for video on-demand streaming, and as well as uh, adaptive streaming for live streaming. So, uh, so we'll, we'll um, take that approach as we go through the class. Mm -hmm. And then we'll talk about adaptive streaming technologies uh, such as HLS, uh, as well as MPEG Dash and, uh, and some of the other adaptive streaming technologies. And then we'll actually show you how to uh, configure uh, some of that as well. So the, the real great thing is with the course is that you get to get hands on with knowing, knowing how to do it. And it really takes the guesswork uh, and saves you the four to five hours that you may take uh, researching how to do it. You can actually get this in, in um, e-learning format so you can have lessons and you can just kind of work your way through the lessons of learning how to do things. So uh, I'm really excited about uh, the course in that regard. Cool. I mean, the, the, uh, looking at the numbers, I think there's about three hours of instructional video, which means you can get up and running in a morning or an afternoon or a late night, I guess, as well. But uh, yeah. pretty, pretty efficient if you're, if you're tasked with getting this up and running and producing, you know, HLS dash streams uh, for either a, uh, adaptive streaming live or, or on demand. This sounds great. Listen, I appreciate putting the course together and, and sharing what it's about today with, uh, with me and with the people who are watching. Well, Jan, thanks for having me, and, and hopefully everybody is able to, uh, to go out there and purchase it, and um, definitely appreciate you supporting, and um, thank you for the opportunity to teach you. My pleasure. Have a good day. Okay. You too.